like little thermal when I'm trying to stay in here. Beautiful looking sky. I've managed to more or less stay in this climb and I think I'm going to stick with it. Drift with it because it's getting shady at beachfront and beachfront sucks to um, be stuck there. Should be able to make it to this next knob at least. We'll see how the comp goes. I'm not exactly sure how long until they start. But yeah, you can see all the uh, fire damage. Especially down here too. Oh, everywhere. Well, I went for it. And uh, this is a confidence inspiring uh, climb so far. Only a couple of turns, but... Nice cloud up there too. I came into this uh, spur pretty low. It looks like it's a good spot, even though it's pretty shady. But where isn't it shady at the moment? Just ahead of me looks better. I can see just a small handful of gliders crossing over towards uh, Hinchcliffs. But it doesn't seem like the whole clump is out there. And um, yeah, it's looking nicer out here. Quite a few fires on the Barney Massif. I'm tempted to go this way now, maybe even try a triangle, but it'll be good to finish up the goal with the others. Mount Warning's visible through the gap. I can see a gaggle, probably at least a dozen pilots over there. They're all lower than me though, as far as I can tell. I think I uh, have had a better run. Yeah, beach one, you gotta be early, I reckon. Uh, the flight's going well, it's quite nice. Turn the uh, sink alarm off. We'll put it down to six metres a second down, so it's a lot more peaceful. Mount Maroon, fires, Boona. The other guys are there somewhere according to satellite tracking, I just checked. Obviously I'm a lot further south than I need to be. But this is nice, I haven't flown over this bit before. Nice climb, I got it from well under a thousand metres. Maybe closer to 700. And goal is this side of the lake. I'm thinking I want to go around and then come back. But it's a bit smoky so I'll see. Views of Barney, Mount Maroon, goals there, but it's only about half past 12, I think it's too early to go to goal. Mount Warning in the distance. Trying to get some views of Mount Maroon down there. Several collapses in this climb, but you'd expect that it's in the lee of this. It's you know, reasonable southeasterly. But the tips, they, they're hard to feel the collapses coming. It's really annoying they collapse really easily. They don't turn the wing much, so not really a big problem. But it's just a hassle you have to keep clearing them, pulling them out all the time. But it's, it's alright. Some really good clouds here. Just arrived at this uh, thermal, had extracted a... See how that... <sighs> that noise must be venting through the cross port cells, things, holes in them, in the middle, whatever they're called. I don't mind this wing, but it is a little bit annoying how it collapses like that. Mount Superbus, looking pretty ominous. Wilson's Peak, Australia's on fire. Cunningham's Gap's up there somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure if this stuff is supposed to burn. I was getting pushed through this venturi before I got this climb. Like just before. I think this is the first time in the flight I've actually come back the way I've come to get a climb. Hopefully this is a climb. Wilson's Peak and uh, I could make out where Kalani was before, but now I'm too low to figure it out. I think Cunamine Gorge is there, which leads to Kalani. Gravel we can see in goals over there. Well, I've been flying for over 12 years, learnt in Kanungra, but I've never made it from there to the main divide, and here it is. Not really how I imagined it in my dreams. I did fly along it uh, earlier this season with Andy, which was fantastic. 
So that was the first time I'd been out here. And yeah, got the height over superbus now. Might even make it to go after all this. Down below me is the main divide. Running behind the east coast of Australia. I finally crossed it from Canungra. It's only taken over 12 years. It's a bit, uh, Australia's on fire at the moment. Just south of Cunningham's Gap, and this climb is welcome because I've lost 500 metres. Not much to show for it. Gravel's ahead there. And just a little bit of blue to cross behind me, so... Let's make sure of it. Just passed through 5,000 feet. Pretty good glide so far. I think I'll probably need a bit more, especially if there's some southeasterly lower down. So there's a good cloud here behind the... Um, hill there and I'm on the sunny side of it so hopefully that gravel's just uh, slightly to the left and goals down there it's a, it's a shame to land because it's uh, it's probably a bit of a stretch to be able to fly all the way back and my left heel uh, thing is broken again after the night I tied at launch so maybe I should land and lots of people at goal I say I rang Gavin before he's there so yeah, Gavin said they're going to be leaving, you know, on the next bus and it didn't sound like they're going to hang around at the pub too long, so I think it's uh, worth having a crack at flying back. So a pilot in front of me there. There might be a few more still around. But there's some just amazing clouds and I was up at 7,000 feet before, I'm down at uh, just over 4,000 feet now, but yeah, it's going pretty well. Cleaner. Change my mind again. I'm gonna land at the pub.